Hi, my name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Sheet View in Excel. Office 365 makes it easy to collaborate with others across its suite of products like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Multiple users can work in the document at the same time, and whatever changes each person makes will be reflected for all users. This is great most of the times, but there are situations where we might not want this. For example, if one user filters or sorts the records, it would be disruptive and confusing for the others. Consider this. You're in Excel working on a shared file saved in a team SharePoint site. This file has a list of active projects for the whole company. Each department is responsible for updating the project status for their own department. And let's say you're in the finance department. Since you're only updating the status for the finance department, it doesn't make sense for you to be working in this long list. It'd be more efficient if you applied a filter. When you do this, it causes issues for the other users. When other users log into the file, they'll see the filter view that you applied. This may cause initial confusion since they won't see all of the records. They may think that their projects have disappeared or the records may have been deleted. It might take a moment for them to realize that a filter has been applied. Now, as they work through the file, any filters or custom sort that they apply will be safe for others who open the file later. The bigger issue is if other users are in the document while you're working. So if you apply a filter or sort, they'll inherit this view, which can be really disruptive. So consider there's another user logged into the online version of Excel. I'm gonna split this view. So we have the desktop version that we're working with, and then another user logged in to the same file on the online Excel version. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this filter. And when we do, you'll see for the other user, the filter has been removed as well. And let's say this other user is working on updating the finance project, but we're gonna go ahead and since we're working on the operations project, we're gonna go ahead and filter. And of course, when we do this, the filter view is inherited by the user as well. And they're gonna be really frustrated because they were updating the finance project, okay? So one way that we can avoid this, I'm going to go ahead and remove the filter is to come to the view tab and then in the ribbon, go to the sheet view and click on this eye icon to create a new sheet view. And when I do this, it goes from default to temporary view. So this temporary view is just for us. So when we filter, It doesn't impact the other users that are sharing the file. And same thing, I can remove the filter and sort. Notice that the, the sort applies to us only, doesn't apply to the other user. And if you do want to go back to syncing your view with the other users who are sharing your document, go back to view and click you can either close the eye icon or go back to default view. When you do this, it asks you if you want to save this view for yourself. You can, you can rename this view and it'll stay here. You can always toggle back and forth between your custom view and the default view. Uh, for now, let's say don't keep. Now we're back to default. And when you're back to the default, now any custom filters that you apply will apply to everyone else. And it goes the works the other way around as well, right? So I'm the remote user and I'm working on the online version of Excel. I'm going to go ahead and clear this filter and it applies to everyone else. And from the online view or from the online Excel file, you can also click on view and you have the same option right now we're in the default view but we can click on new and now we're in the temporary view we can filter any way we need
and it doesn't apply to the other users. So one helpful feature that Excel offers is that when one user is logged into a file working and a second user joins in and they try to apply custom view by applying filtering or sorting, they'll be presented with a dialog box asking if they want to see sorting and filtering from others. So if they select see just mine, they're going to enter into a temporary view where any custom filter or sort will apply only to their file. And similarly, when other users who are logged into the file make changes to their view, uh, because we selected see just mine, their custom views will not impact our view. If they select see everyone, they're going to remain in the default view. So any changes they apply will impact everyone else who are currently logged into the file. And of course, the changes the other users make to their custom view will impact your view as well. So we'll select just as an example, see just mine. And one thing you should note here also is that the column and the row labels turn black. This is one clear indication that you're working in a temporary view versus the default view. Okay, so here I'm going to apply a filter, marketing, and notice that it does not impact the other user. And when we exit out of this temporary view, Notice that the row label and the column labels um, are no longer black. Okay. And the view is in sync with the other users. So I encourage you to try this the next time you have to collaborate with others in Excel. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in contents like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye for now.